With border funding a battle, President Trump taking the debate over immigration right to the border in El Paso, Texas tonight. This comes four days before a congressional deadline to come to a deal on border security, and the White House is not backing down. During the conversation this morning, PWC partner Mitch Rochelle here, along with pollster and the president of Maslansky uh, and partners, Lee Carter. Great to see you guys. Great to be here. Thanks so much for joining us. And Deirdre, we're happy you're here this yes, morning as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. So yesterday, Lindsey Graham came on the show and uh, on Sunday Morning Future on Fox News and basically said the new wrinkle is that the Democrats are saying we won't give you another dime in, in border wall funding for the border wall unless there is a decline in the number of beds at ICE detention centers. So the, for, for uh, you know, uh, serious offenders, what are your thoughts? I'm wondering if this is a backdoor way of trying to de-escalate or, or decommission ICE to some degree because ICE has become very politicized among some of the new Democrats. And I'm just wondering if that's the end game here because it just doesn't make sense on the surface if it makes um, more potentially violent criminals out on the street. Right. I mean, so vi why violent would, criminals. And, so and why would you do it unless there's sort of an end game to it? Well, I think, think there's also something um, symbolic about it. And and to me, the Democrats are really trying to make this all about um, a humanitarian issue, saying that we've got to be kind to people. We've got to be more generous to folks. And so what they're saying is if we if we take the beds away, we're not going to treat people as poorly. We're not going to hold them as long. And I think that's what they're trying to say is if we do this wall, we're going to do it in a humanitarian way. I'm not sure that this is a smart strategy or not. But I think that's what they're trying to do. Uh, there is so much, I would say, just political right, maneuvering with this. I mean, and we know that Democrats have even backed a wall, but just not being called a wall, right? And we got into this whole, are they really metal slats? Fine. Is it a wall? And I actually thought there was progress being made, nothing against our fine president. But then he tweeted out, a wall is a wall. I'm going to call it a wall. And I was like, no, because we were so close. So I think it's really about the messaging. I, I am assuming behind the walls and behind the doors, people uh, are uh, figuring it out. And yeah. I know you've done dials. I want to talk about that. But because former Democratic Congressman, 2020 presidential candidate Beto O'Rourke is also going to be in El, Ta uh, El Paso, Texas tonight. He's doing a dueling rally against the president. O'Rourke tweeted this. We need everyone to join us tomorrow evening in El Paso as we celebrate our community. The country will be watching, and it falls on all of us to tell the true story about the border. You know, I feel like after the State of the Union, Lee, the tone changed a bit. You even had Nancy Pelosi saying, well, I'm going to, you know, take the advice of the committee chair. What did you see as a result of the State of the Union? You did dials on the State of the no, Union. No, the State of the Union, the president, that was one of his finest moments. What's very interesting, too, is the Democrat response did very well. Usually, it fall, the response falls flat. Nobody really um, changes their mind based on anything. Independents and Democrats really liked the, the response of the Democrats, so I think it was a big night for everyone. Now, going into this, seeing how better work is handling this, it's a different way of handling the president, right? Because we've, we've seen a lot of people try to, you know, meet him where he is. They try to take him down, act more like the president. Better work is very, very popular, and so this is going to. He's a very grassroots candidate. He has a lot of um, excitement when he goes out and talks on the road. So I'm interested to see how this is going to turn out. It could end up being a total bust, though. I mean, that's a huge risk. They're, they're going to be a mile away. President Trump with his rally and Better O'Rourke. But it was aggressive it. scheduling, right, on the part of O'Rourke, right? Oh, oh the yeah, president's yeah, going to yeah, be there. No I'm going to show up too. Right. But that's for very work, aggressive. For O'Rourke, it's clearly a campaign stop. Mm. Yeah. Oh, the no, president, no the question is, is it a campaign stop? And is O'Rourke sort of baiting him into starting his campaign? So it'll mm -hmm. be very interesting. Well, this was his campaign promise, build the right. wall. That's He's right. trying to take the messaging yeah. right to the border in Texas. All right, we'll, we'll keep watching this.